is, oh, it's this time already. Okay, so now we have to talk about Obero. Now, now we have to talk about Obero. If you are running white, if you are running white, if you are running a substantial amount of white in your deck, you are going to be running this card. This card is, well, not this card. These two cards are broken. They're absolutely broken. But first I have to explain how Obero works, because a lot of new players actually don't know how this interaction happens. So, nothing in Obero 4's, t 4's skill set directly insinuates that you're drawing a lot of cards with it. Like, nothing in this skill set tells you to draw a card. But, when you move Obero, for the cost of one white bond, you can class change any Obero with this card. You may class change any Obero with this card. And class changing draws you a card. Normally, yeah, free card. This cost one here can just move for free if she's untapped. If she's untapped. So here's how this interaction work, works. Let's imagine that there are four white bonds over here. Just picture it in your mind that there are four white bonds over here. I have this Obro in my front line. I use Hoshiden Naginata Arts. Arts. I move the unit for free. I activate Glamorous Quick Change Princess. I flip the white bond that class change the Obro. I draw a card for that. Then I use her second skill, her class change skill, Makeup Fix, which is send the topmost card of this unit stack to the retreat area. Which means I take this promo and I cast it right back off. Back off. Because of a quirk in this game's rules, when I class change onto this card and then remove that card from the stack, this once per turn condition is reset and I can use the skill again. Which means I can now move Obro again, class change again, flip another bond, draw another card, and I can keep doing that for every single white bond that I have. Which means, if I'm, if you are running a substantial amount of white, and you have a cost 4 Obro in the retreat, you can deploy cost 1 Obro, flip as many white bonds as you want to draw a corresponding amount of cards. Not only is it efficient, it's one for one, but unlike literally every other card that I've gone over so far, there isn't really a limit on how frequently you can do this per turn, other than the amount of bonds you have. The closest to it being limitless is Liana, but again, how often are you going to need the condition to activate this skill? And everything else is once per turn. Is once per turn, so it's efficient, but you can't get all the cards at once cards at once. So, yeah, this is broken. Okay. Other than that, there's also the fact that the fact that it's a really good tempo card, but I will go over that probably two videos from now. Now, it's also a base 80 potentially, but again, I'll go over that two videos from now. But for the sake of adding a lot of cards to your hand, just know that if you are running a lot of white, this is the card to go to.